hope you are well. After the great blackout in 2003, I had this generator sitting in my garage, and while I used it on occasion for a day or two over the last 20 years, its basic features, utility, and maintenance were not something to which I paid a lot of attention. Additionally, in the past, any time we lost power, it was for a short period of time, and it was actually a bigger pain to pull it out of the garage and fire up the system, because until then, any time we had lost power had been during the summer. We didn't need heat, there was light for the better part of the day, and you just lived without TV, instead sitting outside in the yard chatting with friends and neighbors. Then late February and early March of 2023 arrived. This time it was different. We needed heat. You couldn't go outside and visit, and it got dark early. I also came to appreciate the abundance of electrical cords accumulated over time for holiday displays. I would like to say I had deliberately planned on being prepared for 2023, but that's not the case. So over the last 10 days, when we were without power for five of those, that gener generator made things bearable. We had internet, could watch TV, and we had heat. That's the value of preparation. Whether with tools or knowledge, preparation is always key, even when stuff goes unused for many years. Once learned, it is seldom forgotten. This same is true for those in real estate. Why you are in business is to assist families and individuals navigate changes in their life, and while what you do in the delivery of that service is unlikely to change, how that delivery of service will always be changing. Only when why changes is there disruption. Otherwise, it is simply part of the evolution of the industry and something for which we can always prepare. Be assured we at the GPBR will do our best to assist. Market conditions. There are more homes for sale in February this year than in February of either 2022 or 2021, which is excellent news for home buyers and home sellers looking to buy. Pending sales in February were year over year down less than 6%, certainly not signaling anything resembling a significant slowdown. And for sellers, while the absorption rate a year ago was at above 44%, now it's at 35%, which continues to signal strong home appreciation for those pulling the trigger to buy now. Events, programs, and activities. I'm gonna run you through the end of April, so hold on to your hat. 316, Morning Coffee Pop-Up at Coffee Break Cafe in East Point. 317, St. Patrick's Day. 322 is the program for Michigan State Housing Development Authority, a.k.a. MISHTA. 321, join your Young Professionals Network at Great Shots in Clinton Township. The Harper Woods Gross Point Chapter holds its annual meeting at the Gross Point Woods Community Center on Thursday, March 23rd, and the following week on the 29th, the Macomb County Chapter holds its annual meeting at the Italian American Cultural Center in Clinton Township. You will find details for all these events at the board website. Our first event in April is on the 12th, a program on mold and mold remediation. The 13th is happy hour. The 14th is our monthly roundtable back out at Nino Salvaggio's on M59. Don't forget tax day is the, fourth, is the 18th of April this year for you procrastinators out there. The 20th is morning coffee pop-up on Friday, the 21st of April. Join everyone for information on wells and septic systems, which will feature industry experts and a representative from the county. April 26th at the Michigan Realtors Broker Summit in Detroit, followed by MR's Fair Housing Program on the 27th, also in Detroit. Details on these last two events are available at the Michigan Realtors website. And that concludes it for this week. Until next week, be productive, successful, and profitable, and as always, stay safe. Bye.